stop for spectating racing and burning out. I need your ID, please. I'm, I'm being what? You're being detained. I need your driver's license, please, for citing for spectating and racing and burning out. Deputy 20186 stopped and detains this man for spectating illegal street racing and burning out, while it is legal for him to detain him for such reason in certain states. It's not a moving violation, though, as he states later in the video. In some areas, laws have been enacted specifically targeting spectators at street racing events, considering them as aiding or abetting. So keep this in mind next time you're at an event, even if the police doesn't interact. Everyone can go to jail just for being present. Let's proceed. Deputy County Sheriff's Office, you're being stopped for spectating racing and burning out. I need your ID, please. I'm, I'm being what? You're being detained. I need your driver's license, please, for citing for spectating on racing and burning out. Who says I was spectating? We have you on video, sir. I need your license, please. So it's illegal to watch? Yes, sir. It's a moving violation. It's a moving violation? Yes, sir. I need your license, sir. Okay, and... So you're telling me it's... I'm not going to ask you again, sir. I understand you can record. I'm recording as well. I need okay. your license, please, and then we can discuss further. Okay, so you're telling me that if I do not give you my license, you'll arrest? You will subject to arrest, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, you've got three on the other side walking westbound online. And what statute is that? I'll look up the exact statute. So on the threat of arrest, I will provide my information. Thank you, sir. What's your name and badge number? Deputy Calamus, ID 20186. Hey, Mr. Rayner, is this your current address? Yep. What is it? That's it. What is it, sir? You have the ID right there. I'm asking you to confirm your address, sir. It's whatever's there. Here's your license. It's copy citation as well as a traffic ticket. Thank you. I'm going to take care of the citation itself. So, okay. Me, yeah, I do. I've got plenty of questions. But first and foremost, so like how I'm recording you right now in a public space, which is a my rights to do so according to the Constitution. Speaking. My yeah, question. Citing the Constitution, I told you, is okay let, for your report. Let, let me ask the question. So if there's a car behind me, like that Camaro that is behind me right now, you're telling me I can be cited for recording that? When there's an organized event like that, yes. What do you mean? There's a, well, the whole point of the event was for people to record. So I was in there recording. So was that against the law? No, not until they're actually on here, street racing and whatnot, that you're actively participating, sir. Um, hold on one second. And you're asking for the statute. The statute's on the citation, so. Okay, so you said when they were street uh, racing. I've your question, sir. No, 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 I'm just making sure you yeah, said when you were street racing. That's what made it illegal, right? I've already answered your there question, no sir. There was, sir. Several cars were pulled over down the street. They also burned out in front of you that I'm sure you have on your video. I don't have any of that on camera. Okay, that's fine. And if you had that on your recording, then you're lying. Okay, sir. Again, on the citation, you have three options to take care of the ticket. Pay the fine, let's go to traffic support, or let's go to traffic school. All right? Have a good day. Long Island Audits is at it again. The court administrator, Scott, makes contact with Sean and tells him he can't be filming here. With all the problems in the world, you would think they would be stopping the fraud with inflation or our crisis at the border. Their problem solving is pointed outward at us and not the problem internally. He repeats his demands to Sean as he continues boldly. Scott states he's a law enforcement officer and a board administrator. Sean implies he's impersonating a law enforcement officer. Let's proceed to see how this unravels. Court administrator, turn it off. I just want to know who you are. What's your name? Turn it off. Do you see I'm the difference you, between do you I'm see the difference you between you time. and the woman that just came out here? I'm gonna tell you one more time and then you What's can your name, sir? Arrested for what? Disorderly conduct, obstructing official business. I'm not obstructing anything. This is my yes, First Amendment right. You're not even a law enforcement officer, you sir. You have a First Amendment right in this building. Of course I do. You're not allowed to. This is not the United States of America? Turn it off. Are you a law enforcement officer, yes. sir? Yes. Yes. You are a law enforcement yes. officer, so you can affect arrests? Tur yes, turn it off. I would like to speak to the bailiff downstairs. I'd like to speak to an actual law enforcement I'm officer. I'm a court administrator, and I'm also a law enforcement officer. How are you a law enforcement officer and a court administrator? I, why does that concern you? Because impersonating a law enforcement officer is a crime, sir. Then you can go file charges against me. I'm a law enforcement officer. 
why are you filming in the building? That you probably would have been your first question that you could have asked me instead of coming to me so aggressively. What, what's your name, sir? Scott. Scott, Hi. my name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. All I'm doing You're not is... allowed to record in this building. It's but, a local court rule. And the clerk is getting me the rule so I can look at it. There is no signage, the meantime, Scott. There is no signage. Phone off. There is no signage that is posted here for me to know. So she's getting me the court rule so I can look at it and be aware. I need to be advised of the, but I need to be advised of the rule and see the rule. I just want to read the rule. You do not. Yes, you do. You have to be made aware of the rule. This is not a crime. I'm telling you what the rule is. Hey, sir, how are you? Turn it off. Sir, I'm going to ask you to deescalate. There's no I, there's I, no I law being broken here. I don't care what you would like me to do. Okay, so I'm why should I care what you? Like? you I'm she's getting me the rule. She's rule. getting me the court rule to read. Okay, okay. okay. The phone's coming out of your hands. It's not. That would be a violation of my rights. You have no. I'm not breaking any law, sir. Why would the phone come out of my hand? Let me ask you something. What, what's your what's your business here? Today? Yeah, I was just going to ask some questions to the clerk, and and I'm an independent journalist. I explained. To Who knows the laws better, lawyers or cops? Generally, lawyers have a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of the law compared to police officers. This is due to their education, training, and the nature of their work. One, education and training. Two, specialization. Three, role. I get it now. Officers are not taught the law on purpose. So are we. Being an officer isn't a cheap way to learn the laws and to becoming a lawyer. These officers had no clue they were wrong. Uncle Sam has allowed them authority, and they enforce what they feel the law is. This guy comes off as a tyrant at first, but when his sergeant informs him, he corrects himself. He wasn't trying to be bad. He has believed he was in the right by way of training. It seems our uncle is using us against one another, and these audits aren't showing how the police don't respect our rights. It shows how Uncle Sam strategically placed them there, and allowed them to infringe upon our rights by teaching the perception of knowledge in place of real wisdom. Everyone needs work to provide for their family, and as we see, they often do theirs wrong. Facility. Well, first of all, Supreme Court has covered that filming out in public is perfectly legal. I don't care what And that is not a suspicion of crime. So therefore, you have no suspicion of crime. Listen, you can cite whatever you want. Right. Why are you videotaping? That's what I'm asking right now. I don't have to answer that. Well, I want to see a form of identification, identifying who you are, why you're outside my facility right now, but you're okay. Because I don't have to provide that either. Why not? Why do you feel like you do not have to perform any form of because identification? Because that's the law. No, it's not. If yes, you're it out is. here and I want to know why you're videotaping our facility and you have to provide me some form of identification, you just can't come and walk away anytime you want and just come up with your things and fly them over our lot. I want to know who you are and why you're videotaping this right now. You probably want to get a supervisor or somebody higher up. Sure, here's my sergeant. He's coming out right now. Well, then he'll tell you. No problem. Hey, Lang. He was flying the drone out in front, videotaping. All I'm doing is asking for a form of identification so we can identify who he is. He's a fuse. Not a problem. Not a problem. He can videotape as much as he wants. We don't have to get any form of identification. He can videotape. Not a problem. All right. So you were wrong? Huh? You were wrong. Sergeant, yes, I was. So you learned something today. That's good. Okay, don't worry about.